Good morning, church. Um, I have the joy of reading Psalm 9 to the congregation this morning, so let you read along with me. Psalm 9. I will praise you, O Lord, with all my heart. <clears throat> I will tell of you tell of all your wonders. I will be glad and rejoice in you. I will sing praise to your name, O Most High. My enemies turn back. They stumble and perish before you. For you have upheld my right and my cause. You have sat on your throne, judging righteously. You have rebuked the nations and destroyed the wicked. You have blotted out their name forever and ever. Endless ruin has overtaken the enemy. You have uprooted their cities. <clears throat> Even the memory of them has perished. The Lord reigns forever. He has established his throne for judgment. He will judge the world in righteousness. He will govern the peoples with justice. The Lord is a refuge for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. Those who know your name will trust in you. For you, Lord, have never forsaken those who seek you. Sing praises to the Lord enthroned in Zion. Proclaim among the nations what he has done. For he, has, he who avenges blood remembers. He does not ignore the cry of the afflicted. O oh Lord, see how my enemies persecuted me. Have mercy and lift me up from the gates of death, that I may declare your praises in the gate of the daughter of Zion, and there rejoice in your salvation. The nations have fallen into to the pit they have dug, their feet are caught in the net they have hidden, the Lord is known by his justice. The wicked are ensnared by the work of their hands. <clears throat> Hegeon. So, uh, the wicked return to the grave, all the nations that God forgot. But, they need, but the needy will not always be forgotten, nor the hope of the afflicted ever perish. Rise, O Lord, let not man triumph. Let the nations be judged in your presence. Strike them with terror, O Lord. Let the nations know they are but men. Selah. Okay, um, pray along with me. Then we do read Psalm 9. Lord Jesus, I just thank you for the, for the chance to read the psalm with my family, Father. I, I thank you, Lord Jesus, for what you're doing in our church, our fellowship how you're touching families, even with the midst of so much what's going on, Lord, that you just keep us strong and faithful to you. My Father, verse 10 is one that really got to me in this psalm. Those who know your name will trust in you, for you, Lord, have never forsaken those who seek you. I can remember so many times in school with mom and dad or aunts and uncles, never say never, never say never. Then when I read this, David had no problem at all saying, you have never forsaken them that trust in you. Father, that's the rock that we have in you, that when we call upon you, we're never putting ourselves in a spot, Lord, to be left out, that you constantly hear us and take care of us. Father, God, our families, bless us, Lord. And so many times, enemies we that are in our life, we can't put a face on them, but for there's so many enemies that want to drive us farther from you, Lord. Things that go on in our life, things that we allow, that the traps we fall in, Lord, when we stumble. But Father, let our stumbles just be able to pick ourselves up and to realize what we have in you, Lord. Father, we're not ensnared by things of our own hands, Lord Jesus. We have power over things that entrap us through you, Lord. Father, I ask you to bless our church, our fellowship, Lord. Keep us strong and close. In Jesus' most holy name, Father. Amen.